hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is fatima and i'm very excited to be making this video this is my second video on youtube i still haven't made a proper introduction video for my channel but then it's going to be up very soon but for now i made this video for people that have been asking me about um about the products that i use and how i use them so please kindly subscribe to the youtube channel and i hope you're going to like um, this video if you do like the video please do give it a thumbs up so now let's begin the tutorial firstly we are going to start by cleaning the face and i have um, just a baby wipe and i'm using blossom makeup micellar cleansing water you can use any micellar water you have but i'm using this now and then we're going to moisturize the face using the Cetaphil moisturizer i'm using my hands to apply the moisturizer but you can use a brush as well i'm massaging under the eye with more moisturizer so that when when we apply um all the makeup we need under the eye it's not going to crease and then i apply the primer which i didn't record here then next i'm using this khalifa cosmetics foundation and i'm mixing it with tear beauty foundation i usually mix my foundation um, one of the foundation was too light and one was too dark on me so mixing both um helped me to get the shade that i wanted for my skin and then i'm just using a brush to spread the foundation on my face then i'm using a damp beauty blender to blend in the foundation but you can also use a brush i couldn't find my brush here so i'm just using the beauty blender so the next we're going to apply the zahil cosmetics concealer i'm applying the concealer on areas that i need to brighten under the eye the chin the forehead and on my nose as well then i'm just blending out um, the concealer so when you have a concealer that dries down easily you need to work in sections kind of like um starting with maybe the forehead then blend it out the chin blend it out then one of the under eye blend it out so that's basically it but the concealer that i have here doesn't dry down easily so next i'm going to use the black or pressed powder to set my under eye concealer so i'm using the same beauty blender to set the under eye with the powder i packed and then i'm going to set my entire face using the tear beauty um compact powder i'm also using the powder that is my shade to set my face i also have this powder palette from avo cosmetics that you can use instead of um, the single pressed powders i'm taking the dark shade one of the dark shade to contour my face i'm kind of just pressing um the brush lightly on my face to contour i'm not dragging the brush across my face as well i'm using the blush that comes in the palette as well the avo cosmetics palette now i'm going to take the davis eyebrow pencil i was checking to see which shade it is it's the shade 03 and i'm just sharpening the pencil to get a sharp tip um, for drawing on the eyebrow now i'm just going to draw on the eyebrow and maybe in one of the videos i'm going to post i'm going to show how to draw and outline your eyebrow that's um a basic beginner eyebrow tutorial
after drawing on the eyebrow i'm going to take the remaining foundation that i had to conceal the eyebrow because i i'm just going for a very natural looking eyebrow i don't want it to look very highlighted and sharp then i just blend that out then i take a powder to set um, the foundation i put on the eye i'm using the nuban beauty satin powder to bake my face and to catch any fallouts from the eyeshadow that i'm going to be applying I'm doing what is called the reverse contour um, to make um, the contour you did on your face to show more. Then I'm using the RLG Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It's called the Kalahari palette and I'm, I'm just using a concealer to prime the eyelid for eyeshadow. I'm applying a kind of light brown shade on the crease. I'm using a fluffy brush to just diffuse the edges. Then I'm taking a darker color for the outer for the outer corner of the eye just to darken the shadow a bit. blending it out and diffusing it so that we don't have any harsh lines i'm using this shimmery purple shade on the eyelid i'm just packing it in and pressing on the eyelid The purple eyeshadow is kind of like an everyday eyeshadow. Then I'm using this mascara, I don't know the name. Any kind of mascara will do, honestly. Then I'm using this pen liner, which I also don't know the name of, but any pen liner or gel liner will do, as long as it's black. I'm just doing a little bit of wing for the eyeliner, because I'm not very good with eyeliners, honestly. I'm using a moisturizer lip oil from RLG Cosmetics to prep the lips for lipstick now it's time for eyelash false eyelashes i'm just cutting off the ends of the eyelashes which are not needed and then i use an adhesive eyelash glue for the eyelashes i don't know the name of as well so as we're waiting for the glue to get tacky a bit kindly 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 subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are liking this video also do give it a thumbs up also do leave a comment on what you think so far now that i'm done with the eyes i'm going to take off the setting powder under the eye if you have any eyeshadow fallout you're going to use a different brush to wipe off the setting powder then i use the powder that is two shades lighter than my skin to brighten up um, the areas that i had baked um, which are like the areas that you need to brighten up on your face
now i'm going to lightly contour the nose as well just very lightly you don't want it to look very dark or have any harsh lines on the contour i then use a black eye pencil on the waterline any black pencil will do now i'm just cleaning off the lip oil that i applied to moisturize the lips then i use the pencil cosmetics lipstick in shade cocoa to um, line my lips you can also use a lip pencil to line the lips or an eyebrow pencil as well then for the inner part of the lip um, i'm using adventure cosmetics lipstick in the shade nude next i'm going to take the rlg cosmetics highlighter palette for my highlight and then who doesn't like a uh, blinding highlights like just look at how pretty it is i love it for my nose highlight i just use my finger but you can also use a brush to apply now i'm using a brush to highlight um the brow bone as well as the cupid's bow which i'm going to do in the next clip yep back to the lips i'm using avo cosmetics peach nectar lip gloss i do love lip gloss a lot and who doesn't i don't think there's anybody who doesn't love lip gloss then this million pollen setting spray i'm just spraying it all over my face i did spray a lot which is why my face looks wet and now we have the final look right here this is a very simple look that you could definitely go out with i love it i hope you loved it as well and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you for sticking by thank you for watching and see you in the next one.